The Animal Rescue, Adoption and Protection Society has emerged out of a pursuit to eradicate animal cruelty, abandonment and uncontrolled breeding of the animal population. This non-governmental organization, formed by a group of animal activists, share a common goal to care, love, rescue and fight for the rights of all animals. In an interview with one of Arab's volunteer and board member, Keshri Singh, a call was made for the creation and enforcement of laws to protect animals in Guyana. We need to have better laws in place to protect our animals. We need to make sure that, you know, when we call on the law enforcement officers, that they're there, because animals suffer a lot of abuse. Exactly. So we're trying to eliminate that, um, especially for horses as well. And, you know, even dogs, every, any animal, birds, wildlife in the whole, like, you know, they, they sell them. We need to have a better system in place to protect mm -hmm. the voiceless. And while most people adopt pets for just pleasure, Singh expressed that adopting an animal goes way beyond this. Animals make you relax and it's, it's we as humans, we need to lead and we need to live by an example. You understand? Sometimes the animals teach us more so on how to live. They help each other. They, they look out for each other. And we learn so much from them as well. So I think having, a, having an animal in your life can also teach you to be a better and kind human. Arabs has recorded countless rescues, adoption, rehabilitation and rehoming of many animals and therefore seeks to extend its services to all parts of Guyana. Our focus is, yes, mainly in Georgetown as of now, but we are looking to um, widen that and take it because a lot of cases are happening in Burbies as well where a lot of animals need help and we want to go on the west coast as well. And then we reach out to four other places, Esquibo, Bartica. We want to widen that. With over 42 dogs and 15 cats in their shelter presently, the organization offers help to other domesticated animals. Reporting for the Evening News, I'm Leah Hernandez.